In this video, we're going to have a quick overview of the complement rule for probabilities. But first of all, what is the complement? Well, the complement of an event A is the event that consists of all the outcomes not in that event. So one of the common notations for denoting a complement event is by placing little c on the top. So let's look at the quick example that illustrates a complement. So let's say a six-sided die is rolled and event is rolling numbers 1, 2, 4, or 5. So that's event, let's call it A. So what's going to be its complement? Its complement is going to be event that has outcomes that are not in event A. So which, not, which outcomes are not included here? Well, it's look like 3 and 6 are not included. So that means it's going to be a complement. So roll numbers 3 or 6. So that's going to be complement. One, once again, complement of one event is going to be another event that consists of all outcomes that are not in the first one. But you can see together, event and its complement make all possible outcomes, right? That's one note. And the second note is that, well, they're complements of each other. So if I call this an event, then its complement is going to be this one over here. So complements are events that we call complements, they're complements of each other. And knowing the fact that all together they make all possible outcomes and probability of all possible outcomes is one. Um, here's the complement rule that we, we're going to use in the next example. So for any event A, probability of a complement equals one minus probability of the event itself. In, in words, the probability of the complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of, um, of A. So probability of the complement of A, that's a typo, that should say, say A, like that. Let's just do a quick example to illustrate that. It says that according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, 31.6% of American households own a dog. What is the probability that a randomly selected household does not own a dog? So let's write down what's given here. So we know that 31.6% of American households own a dog. So that is a proportion, right? But remember that proportion, which is same as relative frequency, can be used to approximate probability, right? So it means that we can write down that probability that a randomly selected household owns a dog is, well, that number, the only thing I'm going to convert it to a decimal, is 0.316, right? So probability of that, uh, probably that household owns a dog is 0.316. But we need to find probability that household does not own a dog. Okay, but notice that those two events, household owns a dog and household does not own a dog, they're complements, right? So that is a complement. Complement of this event. And since it's a complement of that event, it means that according to the complement rule, to find this probability, we can simply need to take one and subtract the probability of the event household owns a dog. And if we write it with the number, it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.316. So that is 0 0.684, which is approximately 68.4% chance. So probability that the randomly selected household does not own a dog is about 
8.4%. So that's how you use the complement rule for probability.